Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Reich in which we're playing as the happy-go-lucky Ottoman Empire right now. We're suffering from a few events, but we'll start with anti-Zionist actions in Iraq. After protests were ultimately quelled by the Wali of Baghdad for their disruptive nature, various Arab and Muslim groups expressed their grief in different ways. Days of mourning have been declared, prayers recited for the souls of Ahu Perishan in Palestine, and newspapers appear bordered in black. Even more disturbing is romantic attachment to the flag of the failed Arab revolt. Arab Revolt, which is regularly started to show up at all across gatherings. Although its usage is officially banned by the state, many Arab uh, gendarmerie units are refusing to intervene, causing its distribution to increase at a rapid pace. This is starting to get out of hand. Mosul doesn't like that. MOJ halts further Jewish immigration. Um, okay. Palestine will never be free so long the foreigners decide its policy. Someone did recommend from the comments yesterday that I enter over here and, like, defend against the Suez. I kind of doubt we'll be able to get over there since this entire area is demilitarized. That's why I set my guys up over here, be it kind of like this. So they should do okay around here. Besides, I really just want to make sure that we can actually, like, defeat the Saudis, navally invade these guys, and then hopefully beat the, the Persians up. We'll see what happens. We have failed coup d'etat in Cairo. Wait, we didn't do anything, did we? Cool. So, the last Ottoman Kiev, Abbas has recently seen an increase in popularity across the Muslim world due to Islamist ideas giving a rise to various groups wishing for his return. Well, oh well, failed coup. And murder in Baghdad. As tensions continue to mount in the OJ, MOJ, I should say, and aggressive actions undertaken by the international Jean -ma, Jean -ma, gendarmerie, relations between the Muslims and Jews within the Ottoman Empire itself is also deteriorating. Last week, two Jews were shot in the streets of Baghdad by unknown persons, either for personal or political motives. A few days later, another Jewish person was killed, prompting demand from the Jewish community in the city for gendarmerie protection, which, with which the Wali complied. Although further attacks have thus far not occurred, this only further confirms fears of increasing instability in the Mashriq. Most disturbing. Oh, uh, minus 3% stability. So be it, whatever. Actually, we get more weekly stability. It's not bad. We've got a couple comments to go through. Uh, yeah, we're not Bulgarians. We're not considered Bulgarians. We're not considered anybody but the Ottomans. We are all Ottomans here. We get 0.65 political power a day. Let's see. Oh, Japan answers their missions. Chief Rabi denounces the Zionist program. Continued attacks on the Jewish community in Baghdad and threats on local newspapers demanded that the Rabbi expresses his opposition to the Zionist project and an international Jewry in general, having forced the Chief Rabbi of the city to ultimately comply. To further relieve tensions among Muslim population, meetings to explain the Palestine situation were organized in Baghdad mosques after prayers commemorating the ascent of the Prophet. Whether it was a message or the higher attendance of plainclothes policemen which stopped further escalation is unclear. A wise decision. Baghdad, how are you doing? Well, they're very low, so that's good. Uh, someone recommended that we choose this glass icon to install the little administrators to lower unrest. Someone says we could probably make them cores again, so we'll see what happens. I'll try it. We'll try it out, so. we got a lot of things going on right now, anyways. Up here, we got 16 days for the copper line to finish, and uh, what is this? Chief Rabbi Haim Sh Sh Ishak Saki announces the MOJ. Usually not a man easy to react to political development within the Empire, the Chief Rabbi of Constantinople, or Hak Ham Bashi, has decided to openly proclaim his support for the Ottoman government in their attempts to reintegrate the Palestinian region, referencing the long and mutually cooperative history of the Jews within the Ottoman system. He has attacked the Zionists who primarily European minds that have no idea of the damage they are inflicting on their resistance or relations, actually, between Muslim and Jew in the Orient. Support from rabbis in Yemen, Baghdad, and Tripolitania, they have arrived in at the Haham Basilisk, 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 the chief rabbinite, and the capital as they too experience increasingly or increasing anti-Jewish attacks caused by the agitated Muslim population of the empire. Although their words are unlikely to have any effect on policy in the region, it's the last in a long line of desperate attempts to de-escalate tensions. We are grateful for your support. And right now we got a lot of things going on. General strike in Palestine. Well, that's not good. 275 equipment. Oh, and Austria has been declared war upon. Oh, we did try to help these guys out before. It might pay to actually help these guys out down here. So we'll see what happens. If we die, we die. If we don't die, we don't die. The world is falling apart at the seams. But we're still hanging out, having a good time. Argentinian free territory. Oh, huh, that's the last time I actually played in South America. It's been a while. Severino di Giovanni. Cool. Let's see. Someone wants me to, from the comments from yesterday, lift the emergency. Consult the military dictatorship. They want me to. Ah. To lift the state of emergency and don't continue with the military takeover. Uh, we'll see. I kind of want to see if a military takeover can happen. Pro people, some people definitely don't want that, but we'll see what happens. 
Increasing Jewish migration and a decrease in resources after the American forces pulled out late last year has caused violence to erupt once more in the MOJ, leading to the deaths of multiple dozen Arabs and peacekeeping and strike-breaking actions. Our government has in response increased its call for the abolishment of the entity, pointing out that only the Ottoman rule can end the crisis peacefully. Various Jewish uh, groups across our empire are also calling on the Sultan to take a more de decisive stance towards the MOJ as they fear retaliation by the Arab brethren for the actions by the international gendarmerie. Send new orders to our Murta Sarif. I really need to re-up all my Ottoman history, and my Turkish history, and Arab history as well. Society for the Defense of Palestine Forms Fostered by the General Taha al-Hashimi, brother of the Baghdadi Wali Yasin al-Hashimi, the Society for the Defense of Palestine was formed earlier this week, primarily created to collect donations for the Arab Mujahideen. Mujaha Mujahideen fighting in Palestine. They are, however, an, also an important conduit for Arab nationalism as the direct action from the government against the MOJ re remains absent. Nonetheless, taking action against a group may be dangerous as the family connection between its founder and the Baghdadi Wali and war hero Yassin could lead to unfortunate consequences if not handled carefully. Shut him down? Refrain from intervening? I want to shut him down, but I don't want to lose political power. Baghdad unrest will decrease? But the unrest here in Baghdad really ain't bad. It's pretty low, so... Let's, let's see how bad this can get. Let's see how bad we can push it to, to do. And right now we've occupied states. Things are looking not too great in some places. Ooh, China's on fire. Ooh. Ooh, and the French Republic's on fire as well. Striving for autarky. Cool, cool, cool. Can we do this yet? No, we need more political power, of course. And yeah, we gotta do that too. Cool, how about another focus? Reform the conscription system? That'll piss people off. But we'll probably have to do that, honestly. And we can do that. We have to have more enough support military government. Abolish full neutrality. Well, we did want to get another research slot soon, so... We need at least one of these naval dockyards. This one's better. Creating during the Kamal's first term, the Orman Siftlegi, or the forest farm, was set up near Ankara as a private farm, but was quickly developed into a model farm by which, the, using the most modern forms of agriculture, was to serve as a tool to teach the Anatolian farmers new methods. With matters in the capital taking most of the vizier's time, the project was on the verge of being transformed to the, or transferred to the government. More growth is not bad. Guatemala. Looks like socialist Guatemala or something like that. Wow, America's a mess. Then again. When is it not a mess? He's gonna happy about stuff. Arab desperados leave for Palestine, coming from within the Ottoman army station in Iraq and Syria. A small group of volunteers and desperados have deserted the force to join the Palestinian guerrilla movements, presumably led by Fawzi al Kaluji, an Ottoman officer of Syrian descent. The group is reported to be well armed and receiving covert support from the Wallis of the Mishriq. Let's hope the International Council gets a hint. Well, at least we got more war support. Yeah. Oh, there's New England. American Union States doing not too bad. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's enjoying my chair. That's only 1938. Nothing bad could happen here, right? Coup by the someone in Bulgaria. Oh, boy. Ah, Boris is back. Welcome back, Boris. Boris, dude. Boris, daddy. Uh, you guys going to need help right here right now. So let's get you down there if we can. Oh, boy. Maybe not. Hey, let's get down here somewhere. Creation of the Yazuv Sultan Selim Association, based around the illustrious Sultan Selim I, who conquered the entire Mamluk Sultanate in the early 16th century, Turkish and Arab intellectuals have come together to press the Sultan for a resolution to the Palestinian crisis, organizing debates, political fora, and teaching local Arabs of the ties binding Turks and Arabs together over the last few centuries. A large focus is placed on teaching about the history of the Ottoman Palestine and the prosperity it has encountered under each under the wing of the, of the Caliph. Some avowed or have, however, discredited the association, calling it a propaganda stunt of the Constantia government who is finding it harder and harder by the day to find support for this Ottomanist ideology. Foreign observers in the meanwhile call it a stunt by the Grand Vizier to increase support amongst his population for military intervention in the region. Gods, we were wrong then. We were strong then. We were very strong then. Well, we'll see. Um, I kind of want to help out here, but also going down here would be pretty good. Oh! Why is everyone killing off the Fifth Balkan War? Everyone hates Hungary. Okay. Good luck, guys. Good luck. The Saudi Omani War. Can Muscat really take another hit? Muscat declared war on Saudi Arabia. Oh, you went to war with these guys. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool that they can actually just tra transfer over there. Now, why did you do that? We have, we're justifying your independence. But if they attacked you, we would have joined in. But no. I I'm not sure what game they're playing. Protests in Haifa. Constituting the northern part of what could have been the Ottoman Palestine. 
Cuba joined the Reich's Pact. The province of Haifa has long served as an economic center point of the region, with the demarcation of the MOJ borders in 1920 based on the arbitrary position of the front lines at the time. Much of the economic connections between North and South were disrupted. The growing Jewish community in the regions was largely displaced in the following months to, anger, to great anger of both Jews and Arabs alike. As tensions continued to rise in MOJ, so was the Palestinian Arabs in Haifa taking to the streets in support of their southern brethren, calling upon the Caliph to protect Islam from this foreign invasion, to reunite Palestine and to make a stand against imperial encroachment. Thousands are marching down the city's narrow streets. That's getting out of hand real fast. And if you want to know about MOJ, at first I didn't realize what it was, but it is the Muta Sarifet of Jerusalem. So, this area is going to be a big old problem. That's alright though. Hey, we're getting attacked. That's fine with me. Just keep defending for now. Soak up that damage. Soak it up. Get a lot of experience, especially as you're fighting in the mountains. Oh, a little bit of lag. What's going on? Did someone explode? Nut around here. Can I see any volunteers, Muscat? Actually, we can. The Ashbal al Uruba. Further de developments have occurred in the Syrian political capital of Damascus, where to the example of many nationalist movements in Europe. The League of National Action has given rise to their own militia, called the Ash Ashbal al Uruba. They say that they've been inspired by European armies and are wearing green shirts. Parading through the streets of Damascus, unarmed as not to get the Gendarmerie, an excuse to intervene. The militia promises to create three dimensional men out of Syrian youth, excelling in martial arts, politics, mathematics, and political poetry. Politics and poetry, most disturbing. Cool. How many divisions can I send you? Uno? I don't want to really hurt our cavalry army here, but we're going to try it again. We're going to send them with Mehmet. Just to defend. I'm, I'm literally here just to defend stuff. So, and if I can help weaken these guys even further, that'd be great. Actually, can I, did I send you planes? Can I send you planes? That'd be kind of cool if we could. Some, some planes. We have no extra planes. Oh, whoops. 26. Well, I think we'll be okay if we don't send any planes. We don't have that many to spare, so. Hey, what can we do over here? And tighten the Tigris and Euphrates navigation law. Oh, what does that do? We get some stockpiles. Canada won't like that. Nor will Germany or Persia. Uh, mostly stuff will decrease and we get more integration here, which actually wouldn't be bad. When remove, increase. When remove the 5% more. 90, 95%. That wouldn't be bad to get, like, less unrest. Basra will increase, though. Oh, crap. Which one's Basra? That one oh, that one's Basra. They're medium. I don't want to really piss them off too much. Uh, I think we'll wait. I want to try the glassing, as someone did recommend, because we can lower people's hatred towards us for now. How are they doing? They're still defending. They're still doing a great job in the mountains. I hope they're learning a lot. They're the only ones defending the mountains. Hopefully Austria can do well, especially since Austria Hungary is going to get walloped. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, are you guys all fighting each other now? That's a really cool flag, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so Austria is fighting them all now. Well, that's kind of a three-way war here, actually. So Austrian, uh, Austria Empire and her allies versus Hungary versus the Belgrade Pact versus, versus all those guys. Oh, boy. hazan has gone. Muscat Division has arrived in Muscat. That's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's not good. That is really not good. If you guys could get there quickly, that would be bueno, I would say. Let's grab, actually, equipment capture ratio, because we could probably actually use that a little bit more right now. Well, as soon as I showed up, they died. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. I kind of want to construct this. I really do. I really, really, really do. 50% more integration. That would sound so good. We already have 25%. This will give us another 20%. Communist seize power in Argentina? Uh, cool. Well, since we have this much political power, we might as well do this, right? We might as well. Cool. And let's grab the Aleppen Institute of Technology. Although a variety of schools already exist to cater to the Arab population, the only real institutes of technological higher learning are on the west coast of Anatolia, primarily in the capital. To solve the issue of technical illiteracy, large swaths of our population, making them useless to our industrialization schemes, Aleppo will be home to the new... to the to the home of a new engineering institute. Great! Find another research slot now. Let's go ahead and try this out. We've got you guys over here, which is cool and all. We can do this install loyal administrators, in which unrest will decrease. It's already pretty low. We could get even lower, which would not be bad. But that's not really non core stuff. Around here, it's kind of high. We could decrease it even further. Let's see. How do we centralize it a little bit more? Oh, we need more stuff back there. I kind of want to centralize this stuff. How is this looking up here? Ooh. Yeah, let's do install right there. Can we do it again? We can. Um, now it's very low. Okay, so you can do that repeatedly. You can install a lot of administrators. Ooh, Mosul? Yeah, why not? Centralize it. Ottoman province, that's cool. 
Like, even though that was probably was a political power, but whatever. My goal isn't to really play EU4 in this, in, uh, Holy 4, but we'll see what happens. This is also Accord stuff, which is very good. I don't mind centralizing control more, though. This is not core, so we probably want to do this one. Basra, Andresa, decrease. Good. We're going to do that again, because I want to centralize this. Hey, look at that! Not bad, now they're core. Actually, that makes a lot more sense to do that now. Cool, so maybe we should do that more often. We still got some unrest up here, which is fine. Uh, let's see. Wow, that's... Oh, God. Hejaz is looking so bad. Oh, my goodness. And you're still, you're still working down here. Hope you're learning a lot. Let's see. Niger. Niger is... Well, has been annexed. Well, good, good job, guys. Good job, I guess. China's on fire, but what else is new? You guys are still doing stuff down here. The fifth Zili Fengqing War. And y'all are just a giant mess over there. And that volunteer... Oh. Hello. Persia is justifying against us. Come down here. You know, defend there. Defend here. Bornu Emirate is gone. We should be able to defend here. They don't look like they can really do too much against us. As long as we got a single division per tile. We actually have two up here, which is not bad. So I'm not too worried about that. I think we should be able to hold regardless. Research claims on Iraq e Arab. Oh, hello. Oh, my cat wants to leave the room. Let's see, where is that? Uh, it's down here. Let's see. Oh boy, they get claims? That's not good. Come on, let's go. My bad about that. Eh, well, let them come. See what happens. What? Serbia. Serbia. What are you cancel canceling a non aggression pact? Well, yep, there goes that part of China. And we'll get our soldiers back, too. Which is only one division, but hey, it's still one division. So you'll have to quickly move through here. We could probably do pretty well down here. I'm not too worried about this. Mashriq, when they spawn, that could be pretty bad for us, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, actually, 75. Hold on, so if... Hmm. So let's say... I could clink some glasses here. They're still very high, so we probably can't make that a core. That's still very high. It's pretty high over here, too. I mean, I'd love to centralize this a little bit more. War propaganda would not be bad. Right here, there's no resistance. Over here, there's very high resistance. Over here is pretty high as well. Is there any place that has medium? None. Very high, of course. I just want to be clinking our glasses together and have a good time. Increase centralization? We could do that. Let's Revolt risk will increase. Our authority will increase as well. Hmm. Very high. Well, this place is high. So if we do this at least once, it'll be medium. If we do it again, it's low. And it's still our core. So that's actually not too bad then. There you go. Now that's nice. That's even better. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. 0.88 a day. Even better. Nice. Very awesome. You guys attack us, we'll rush through here as fast as we can. Oh, Greece, what are you doing? I can't afford a war over here right now. R r mm. I, mean, I could probably scrounge up an army and try, try to fight over here and defend, but I uh, don't want to try that. We're almost at our division limit, too. Oh, boy. They're stacking more bodies over here. That's not good. Oh, we got another thing there. Nice. Yeah, you guys are going to get pummeled hard, but you are mountaineers fighting in the mountains. Or will be fighting in the mountains. A fourth research slot. How beautiful. Absolutely delicious. Let's grab some more defense. Yes, this stuff. It's very good. Next up, what are we going to do? Two more civilian factories, two more civilian factories, naval dockyards, those are kind of okay. That's not bad. Monopolized railroads, more infrastructure, Ottoman army, a bonus of land doctrine would not be bad either. And more military factories, let's go with that. It's only 35 days. The Ottoman army is the heart of the Turkish nation. We must seek to strengthen and support it against our numerous enemies, for the survival of our state depends on the ever-triumphant horde. I absolutely. I hope to God that we can just hold out. All right. Hung oh, there goes Hungry. Good job, Hungry. Oh, look at that. Now you guys can probably... Oh, that's not... Well, that's actually okay. You got access to there. Hopefully they can beat up these guys. And we're still getting attacked over here. If the Italians can break through, it's kind of the end of the Austrians, but... You never know. Oh, you guys are really learning a lot, aren't you? Can I put you under someone else, maybe? Does someone else want to be a field marshal for a day? Yeah, this Pasha dude. There you go. Get some more entrenchment. Oh boy. Militus Paraguay, they've... I guess they got content, huh? They're tiny. Wow, you actually do have content. A new challenge. 
Interesting. Interesting. Military mission. Wait. Two musk. Oh, they're back. We still guarantee you. Okay. Oh, well, well, all right. Whatever. Whatever. Up to them. Uh, regulate Shiite pilgrims. Oh, if you want to read that, go right ahead. Baghdad unrest will increase. Persia won't like this. Increase the integration of Mesopotamian vilayets by five. Oh, that's not bad. We already have 100%. And when it reaches more than 100%, it can be upgraded to Ottoman province status. So there's really not really too much of a pr reason why we should do these then. All it does is piss people off. 70%. Actually, how, how are these areas doing? Very high. That's not good. Oh, actually, Muscat owns that. Huh. It's very high. If that's a core, we don't really want to deal with that. Yeah, we can centralize authority. Uh, that's already our core. I would like it to be more centralized, but we got other things we can do. We can centralize these guys. Well, maybe we can't centralize it, but... We already did that. It's still pretty high, still pretty high, whatever. At least the underneath went down a little bit more. I guess that's good for now, but... We could do that. Baghdad, what is the unrest in Baghdad like? It's There's none. Okay, well, that's not bad. We get a total of what? More integration, that's it? It's not really worth it. That's alright, though. Hey, another division. Finally, another division. Very, very good. Guns. Hey, that's not bad. Minus 107, not bad at all. Oh, you guys again hit pretty hard. But you are tanks. Not too worried about that. Uh, Hold on, then. Is your entrenchment level... Oh, we're not entrenched. That sucks. Oh, were you encircled, or... What is wrong with the Italian soldiers? What are they doing? Um, Mongolia is looking disgusting right now. The Russian stuff down there. India is falling apart. Uh, I'm kind of hoping... Oh, wait, Hungary's back. Oh, they must have been liberated by the Austrians. Oh, led by... Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen him before. Joseph August Habsburg. Lotharingia. I doubt they have unique focus trees, though, right? Yeah, it's generic. Mr. Generico. 0.89 a day, not bad. Okay, the Ottoman army. Let's go and grab some military factories, because we could really use them right now. So, Mao's arrivals and bayonets proved effective in the Valkyrie, but the battlefield is changing. The large gap between enemy technologies and our equipment is ever-expanding, and we must expend considerable effort if we want our army to retain, to retain its might. Okay, so seriously, when is the pact supposed to explode? Like, I got bras? Like, can I... Can we do something here? Uh, we've been waiting for like two episodes now to do something. Um, I guess technically I should probably bolster the forces on this side too. But whatever. The invasion of Kassab. Kassab. Talonsmen are the, uh, likewise otherwise quiet. Kassab were rudely awakened by the presence of a Iranian detachment on the shores this morning. Is yet another move on mounting tensions of the Arab Gulf. The government of Tehran has seemingly unilaterally taken control of the entire Strait of Hormuz. The occupation has been without bloodshed, seemingly led from the Iranian cruiser Persepolis, where shortly after 6 a.m. a group of five lifeboats were disembarked and sent towards the harbor of Kassab. After a short kerfuffle with a small Muscati garrison in Kassab Castle, the Muscats surrendered and the Iranian flag was hoisted on the battlements to signify the new ruler of the peninsula. This blatant act of aggression which has cut our dominions in the Gulf from their traditional partners in India has ca caused great con consternation. And Basra and Baghdad, with, uh, where officials are demanding an immediate response to the threat, showcasing the strength of the Ottoman fleet and giving the Iranians a warning they won't soon forget. Set sail? We cannot risk war. Oh, we're going to set sail. Come on, boys. Bring it in. See what you can do. Actually, before we go to war. Idris returns to the throne. Exiled prince of the Senussi order, Idris I has returned from his self-imposed exile in Cairo. His nephew, Az Zubair bin Ahmad al Az Sharif, has been forced to resign, and all remaining Ottoman observers have been kicked out of the Serenica. Their new leader has also decided to move his capital closer to the Egyptian border, a clear sign of his anti-Ottoman ambitions. The city of... Jiarabab, which was transferred to Serenica at the end of the war, has now been decreed official capital of Serenica. The spiritual center of the order, which is home to its main educational facilities and is forbidden to all non-Muslims, lies deep within the desert and will make it especially hard for any Ottoman intervention to occur. Put down the order. Um, the revolt. To bide our time. Serenica, huh? I really don't have the forces to deal with them right now. Really don't. We'll do that one. Let them all come in at once. We're going to lose this area, but so be it. Iran abandons Musadam Peninsula. Seemingly scared off by the Ottoman fleet, the Iranians have packed up their bags in Kassab and returned to the pro 
Persepolis. With the Iranian presence removed from the peninsula, the question remains as to the future. The Sultan of Moscow has proven utterly incapable of defending against even the smallest of armies, and with the rising importance of the Hormuz threat in the global economy being the vein that connects Iraqi and Bahraini oil to the world, some have asked themselves whether it would be better for security if a permanent Ottoman garrison established on the peninsula. Hand the peninsula back to our Muscati friends. The threat of Hormuz needs necess necessitates a strong Ottoman presence. <clears throat> yeah, we'll definitely do that one. Yeah. Look, they, they could not deal with that, so we will. So we got enough here. Power propaganda. Combat Sunusi influence. Oh, how's that one doing? Base stability. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's do that one. It's only 10. So down here, there it's very high. But if we do that, and we do that, it's low. Beautiful. Abu Dhabi. We could do it again, get even lower if we really want to, but let's make sure that these guys are still cores. So let's lower that. It's going to cost more political power, so be it whatever. 0.88 a day is still pretty good. Now, I do want to definitely increase centralization, but we'll wait. We've got to wait. Okay, they're on fire. Ooh, we get more political power. Let's do both. I want more political power. I want to put down more revolts and such. There we go. Medium. Boom, there you go. Not bad. Not really not bad. That should definitely help with uh, revolts. So that actually looks a lot better. So much better. Of course, Damascus and Syria, Beirut, Lebanon. And then, this area is not terrible. It's actually, this is actually probably one of the worst. But, yeah, over here, hmm, not great. But thank you to whoever left that comment for me to start clinking our glasses together and do this. You want to piss them off some more? Eh, they're already very high, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah, we have plenty of fuel. Let's stop doing that. I forgot about that stuff. Oh, what are we building? Oh, roads? That's not bad. Constantia. Constantia. Oh, they're doing that area. So be it. Whatever. There you go. Do that. We're still building civilian factories. I'm not really sure there's how much we can really do, honestly, with... Ooh, inspectors of army modernization. Don't mind if we do. Aviation. Cavalry. Ooh, that is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. Specialized desert regiments for the future, just in case things go poorly. Although several attempts have been made already to set up specialized regiments in Libya and Central Arabia, consisting of Beodun and local tribesmen. These operations usually only lasted a few years. This was, this was to change after the Valkyrie as a new impetus to defend the southern frontier led to the creation of the Iraqi Camel Corps, a practice that was soon to be imitated across all of Egypt. Cool. There was another comment from yesterday, in the last video, let's go and convert these over, that someone was asking how to get a nationalist turkey... In Kaiserk, I have no idea, I'll be honest. I, I could maybe offer a suggestion. Maybe, like, when the Cairo Pact attacks, you lose. And then play as Turkey, and maybe you can go Nationalist? I have no idea. I really don't know. Oh, there goes Serbia. Now that's a nice Illyria. That's very nice. I like this. That's a nice, nice light blue. Oh, those guys are dying. But we're doing kind of okay so here. Are you still level 2? A hey, Mountaineer. Okay, so now you have to deal with these guys. Okay, interesting. Kind of do I do want to deal with these guys? Let's see, it has to be low. You guys are very high. You guys are high. McLeek joined the Northern Zealand clique. Damascus is very high, which is fine. We can continue integrating them more and more. Over here, we can't do this. We can't do that either. Na Namiblan, Na Namiblan, more stability. Buganda. Do we have any more ships? Maybe. Yes, we do. I'm glad I looked. Let's see. Uh, Romania is doing relatively okay against these guys too. Oh boy, there's an encirclement here. Oh yeah, with the SRI coming in, that definitely helped these guys out. Why am I the one attacking? No one else is. Do you really want to get encircled, guys? At this point, you probably won't. But we'll see what happens. As soon as I stop attacking, then they start attacking themselves. All right. Well, so be it. Whatever. All right, so we'll send you guys to the 15. Help defend the line. You never know what the Persians are up to. I wonder what the losses are like for this war. The Austrian... Or the Greek-Bohemian War of all nations. 129,000... Wow, a quarter million. That's not good. Austrians have lost quite a bit. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. Good, good. Hey, they even took Venice. How are they not dead yet? Oh, they still have Milan, that's why. 
You're not going to get there in time. These guys are... Okay, never mind. You, you can get there, down there in time. Good job, guys. Now we can come back over here and help out. Hmm. If there's anywhere we should really attack, it's probably be right here or help defend. Because these guys should not be getting any supplies. Nice. Desert training. We're going to definitely need that camel course. I love it. Another military factory. Herku unlocked. Air experience gained daily. That's not bad. Is there anything here that gives us, like... Ooh. Armor technology, more divisions, that's cool. Uh, naval treaty stuff, enact the Misrata program? That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Enact the Basra Harbor project. Black Sea Shore Defense. Diversify military portfolio. You get a whole one military factory. This is probably better to do. Uh, let's see. Turkish Petroleum Company, soft Basra concessions. Uh, I kind of like that as well. But we probably get some more research speed. The Rus Die were a sort of high school set up as part of the Tanzimat Tanzim reforms of 40, 1845 to provide for education in the European style. Besides these schools, however, a variety of military preparatory schools were set up in Anatolia and Iraq to instill a discipline and patriotic spirit into the students. These schools are now targeted, or the target of education reform amid at further strengthening the loyalty to the state. So we got plenty enough political power right now. Let's let time go on. I'm going to piss these people off in Damascus as much as possible unless they're revolting now. Nope. Centralize it. Nice. Let them revolt up there. I'm actually going to go ahead and probably finish this area off, maybe? No. No, I don't want to do that. I'll do this area. No. No. These guys, they're both very high. Oh, there's none down here. There's literally no problems down here. There's a couple problems right here. Anywhere else? Uh, unrest in Benghazi, serving as the only, uh, only Ottoman base in Serenica. A new wave of unrest has washed over the town with the departure of the Senussi administration from... Ajdabia to Jiarabab, no doubt caused by agents of the Senussi sect. They have succeeded in causing severe damage to the Ottoman standing amongst the local population. Many of the city's non-Muslim citizens or de are demanding more decisive action from the garrison in the city as they fear that a departure of Ottoman rule from the region would have severe consequences on their economic fortunes, and even their lives should it come to blows between the two sides. The Jewish community is, is especially at risk, as even in Benghazi, the effects of the Palestinian issue starts to weigh in. Most worrying. Most worrying. Alright, anything else here that we should probably pay attention to? Not really. Not too much. Radio detection is always really nice. It's still 38. Come on out, get some more. 0.91, not bad. Wow, is this how World War II starts over Italy? Well, good luck, guys. Hey, get some Army XP2. It's becoming an organizer. That's very, very nice. I think the Austrians will win over here. But honestly, I think I've been doing too well with like putting down like resistance and such. But we'll see what happens. Just just launch an attack against me. Come on. Just try. Just do it. Come on, just do it. Tripoli. Oh, okay, talks with Persia. Well, we're gonna so leader of two failed attempts in Sulaimania to carve out a Turkish or Kurdish kingdom. The infamous Sheikh Mahmud has been seen in contact once again with the representatives of the Iranian government according to our spies. Bramna Kadiri. The Sheikh has had other Kurds to thank for most of his failures as their unwillingness to subordinate themselves to the Sheikh would be their downfall. Ottoman officials in Iraq will quickly exploit their differences and by utilizing Kurdish forces opposed to him as such as the powerful Jaff. He was forced to flee across the border to Iran. Attempts by the Iranian government to supply his troops and send them back into Sula... Sul Suleimania to cause havoc on the Ottoman periphery became less and less successful due to his even closer supporters starting to believe the window was closed. Furthermore, the Turks have countered the subterfuge with the Kurdish pawns of their own. Simki, the Kurd, famous warlord of Iranian Kurdistan, and feared by many an Assyrian for his excessive cruelty near Lake Urmia, during the closing stages of the Valkyrie, has found his benefactor in the Ottoman government. Sometimes even going so far as fighting under a Turkish flag, this warlord caused great havoc and even successfully defeated the Iranian army. Nonetheless, reinforcements from Tehran have ultimately proven his demise as he was just like his colleagues further south, driven across the border. This back and forth game between the two powers came to an end in 1927. The administration and Mustafa Kemal and the Iranian shock concluded the side of pact. Both sides would from now on stop fostering Kurdish dissent on the other side of the border as a danger of awakening Kurdish nationalism was regarded as detrimental to the interests of both sides. A few low-level troublemakers were exchanged in a symbolic gesture that whilst both sides also confirmed the 1913 Ottoman-Iranian border. Cool. I don't care about Tripoli too much. It's important and all, but... Ooh, down here... We probably want to start clinking our glasses and getting these guys under control. Actually, these guys would probably be some of the most important places to do that. There you go. Now they're back to just being high. Can we piss them off some more? I want to increase um, centralization. That's very low down here. That's kind of nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Hmm. Could do some more tank stuff. 
Oh, we've got some time, why not? As much integration as possible. So they are a villiet. If we can do that, become an Ottoman province. That'd probably be pretty good. More building slots, nice. Delay, don't mind if we do. Mobile defense, don't mind if we do. Infantry equipment. Oh yeah, well on this one. Oh, we'll lose political power. Uh, we'll do that in just a little bit. Uh, just go and grab this one. That'd be fine. Might as well get the next best gun. And centralize the stuff. Centralization, maybe. Centralization. No, you can't be centralized anymore. You guys can't be centralized anymore. Oh, you're actually kind of high over there. They're a central estate, too. Man. Anywhere else we can centralize the area? I love centralization. Very low. Um, It's very low, so we can go up to low, then, maybe. 225. Now they're low. But we're... Now they're in Ottoman province, which is kind of nice. Oh, let's go and click on that. That's fine. Yep. Keep rising up. Oh, that's stuck at 20%, huh? Alright, cool. Then maybe we'll put them down a little bit soon. Expand the, that one. Um, I know people want me... Some people want me to do this one. But, just for this campaign, I think we'll consolidate the military dictatorship. Even though the Marshal supports the notion of democracy, and initially planned an immediate return to the parliamentary route, or rule, he has steadily grown disillusioned with the political establishment, seeing them as a disease weakening the empire from inside. Perfidious voices all around him have urged the marshals to maintain military rule on the state until we can be absolutely sure that their interests are safe. Every own state in <laughs> resistance is going to go up. That's not very good. But we'll see what happens, you know. None. 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 Low. Low. It's low. They go to medium. We're probably going to get a lot of... Get it, get it, going to get pretty hard here, but that's okay. Brazil joined the Reich's Pact? Well, whatever. Over here, some places are, like, low. They'll go up to medium, which is not going to be good for us, but whatever. We do it because we can. Are we out of guns? We're out of guns again. God dang it. Um, yeah, there's not really much we can do about that. Yeah, that's not good. 20% more paternal autocracy, though. Celebrates, uh, celebrates Eid? Well, that's great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. How are we doing over here? Have we tried to attack at all? Or is anything going on around here? No? Oh, there's a river. You guys are still trying to attack. The Congress of Haifa opens its doors. So let's hope a solution can be found. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Looks like we got another destroyer. That's nice. Wow. These guys are killing each other. Well, at least I didn't spark World War II yet. Or the second Bell Creek, I should really say. Spain is a mess, though. And Belgrade pocked. That looks so sad. Oh, it's getting better. That's getting actually a lot better. Much better. Love it. 0.91. And we'll have this in less than two weeks. International Council votes for abolition of the MOJ. Great! In response to issues in Palestine, the signatories of the Jerusalem Accords have voted in favor of its abolition and the reintegration of the Ottoman Empire. Proposals to return to the Sinai to Egypt were vetoed by representatives to great annoyance of both Cairo and other powers, which ultimately conceded to putting it under joint control by both nations, something those two sides have already denounced. Whether or not this solves the issue of the Palestine issue remains to be seen, but what is for certain is that conflict between the Ottomans and Egypt is only starting. With the last paperwork still left to be done and an orderly transfer of authority from the Je Gendarmerie to the Ottoman army being organized, the MOJ will continue to function for weeks longer, although no longer have the power to decide on internal matters for now, a strictly Ottoman affair. A wise decision. Great. Now, when are you going to go bye-bye? Promote the Damas Damascene link? Great Arab strike. Oh, boy. Wow, that sucks. Jewish immigration halted. Chaos amid the Jaff. The Kurdish tribal confederation of the Jaff, one of the most prominent in Iraqi Kurdistan, has been shaken up earlier this week by following the murder of their chief. Fighting on the side of the Ottoman Empire during the first revolt of Sheikh Mahmoud, many have been quick to point fingers across the Iranian border where the exiled chief has seemingly been building up the strength for a return to power. The assassination has caused a disaffected members of the confederation to break with a central policy and to prop up their own successor, whose vision on cooperation with the Ottoman regime is far less secure. Disturbing. Well, that ain't good. And S declares its independence. Declared by recently returned Sheikh Mahmoud Barzinji, the city of Sulaimaniye and the surrounding territories decided to break with the Ottoman Empire and use the ruling chaos in the Mashriq to carve out a state of their own. This decision has come a bit as a surprise for this former ally in Persia who intended for him to destabilize the port but not to clear up the Kurdish state. Fearing support from their own Kurdish population for his own cause, it remains clearly unclear whether Iran will turn their guns on him before the situation could further deteriorate. Well, if that's the case. Y'all gonna have to wait a little bit as I get my soldiers up here. 
Hopefully this doesn't spawn anything too badly. I know this is not Kurdistan proper yet, but it doesn't matter. Oh, they're right there. Oh. That's not too bad. We already have soldiers inside the borders. Go screw yourself, boy. Oh, we can't do that because we have to be at peace, probably. Yeah, we it's abandoned because we are at war. Hey, that ain't my fault. That's what they wanted. Uh, we can do that. You know what? We could probably do this. Lose some stability. Eh, it's not really worth it. You just lose stability and you get some better stuff for later on, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I know I'm ignoring this stuff. F abolish full neutrality. I'm not going to do that until we actually get into any sort of war or something. Bonus of land options would be pretty good to do. The Arkan E. Harbinye Mektibi or Ottoman Military College serves as a crowning achievement in the education of the officers of the army and is destined to give ample re preparation to the best students who have climbed the ranks of our system. Nonetheless, the college is in dire need of restructuring as the curriculum has seen little change since the Valkyrie in our regards to combined arms severely lacking. Very cool. Yeah, I think we'll do okay here. More than okay. There you go. Actually, don't even go there. Just, just help out. Oh, Wadai is gone, huh? Goodbye, Wadai. Egypt crosses Suez? Oh, boy. In a bland breach of the conclusions near Haifa, the Egyptian military has crossed the Suez with the intentions of fully co op occupying the MOJ. The closest army units in Damascus and Beirut already on standby for the duration of the Congress should be... Should the conclusion be any less desirable, I already encountered the Egyptians are now slowly awaiting the command of their Padisha. Go to war with them? Concede them? No, hell no. Well... Alright, well, I ain't too bad, actually. If that's the case, we're gonna come down here real quick. Let's see, how many places? We have one, two, three. I'm gonna cut you guys down in half. Why? Because we're gonna need someone against the Saudis soon, probably, too, so. Since the cavalry's a little busy with these guys over here. Iran breaks the 1913 uh, Shat al-Arab Protocols, established in 1913 after almost 100 years of negotiations, the Shat al-Arab Protocols were the crowning achievement of the resolution that ended the Iranian-Ottoman border conflicts. With this last guarantee of Iranian neutrality in the East Ghana, it is without a doubt now clear that Iran will enter or entertain its ambitions and strike on Iraq. Fighting between the two great powers commenced in the early hours as the air bombardment of the Foul Fortress in the Shat al-Arab was followed by small incursions of Iranian cavalry regiments in the S-Word province. War it is. I'm not going to click on that because that means... That they, we still have time to mount a good defense. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Uh, actually, oh wait, is that just one? Oh, it's just one big old tile. Usually, I think in base game they actually made this. In, this made this separate, but whatever. Can you guys actually come down here and do that? There you go. Maybe we'll see what happens. All right, so these guys, these Kurds, ought to die, right? They should be dead. War in the desert. They join the goddamn Cairo Pact. Well, how are they not dead yet? Wait, do we have to literally kill every single one of them off? That's stupid. You all will be fine. We'll be kind of fine over here as well. Come on. Seriously. How much longer is it going to take? Force the attack. Come on. Get rid of these pieces of garbage. Rising descent in Iraqi Kurdistan. With a general feeling of nearing of war in the air, stability is taking a nosedive in the region of uh, S-Word. Raised by two powerful tribes, the Halrami and the Hava... Havavand, Hamavan, allies of Sheikh Mahmud during his revolt have become so unbearable that merchants and other urban citizens have been forced to leave for Kirkuk and Mosul, where protection from local confederations and the Ottoman gendarmerie are granting them much needed respite. Protests against a slow response to the government has also seen an uptick in the region as many Kurds start losing faith in the military to prevent them from harm. Nonetheless, the army sent a detachment of 3,000 men and an air squadron into the territory of the troublesome tribes to put an end to their disturbance. The Iranian government was quick to respond to the scale of these troops' movements so close to the border that can only be signed that the Turks are planning to invade Kurdistan or Iranian Kurdistan and drive out the Kurds currently living there. You already revolted. You have no option to do anything there. How much longer do we got with Iran? Oh, we got six days. That's good. Good. Kill every single one of these guys off. That's awesome. Now, you guys have actually mounted a pretty good defense. You'll be fine. Now, I'm worried about these guys. Now, these guys... We're going to have a lot of guys. Take out these guys first. And then, now, we're going to lose Triple Tanya. So be it. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Because these guys... Kurdistan's gone. Well, we're going to do a lot of bad things to you. You thought the Armenians had a bad time. We're going to do a lot of bad things to you guys. Actually, hey, I got our division back. Nice. Let's see, I'm going to have you guys, you two, come over here too. There you go. You are back. And is it you? No, it's you. Not bad. Thank you very much. 
Y'all are just doing a good job, hopefully going to hold the line there until something bad happens over there. And Imam Yahya declares his independence. Official leader of the Central Yemen, or Yemen, during a successful revolt against the rule in the 1910s, Iman, Imam Yahya has always been an ambitious man who set his sights on southern Yemen and Asir with a natural rouse for expansion for the Yemeni Fife. Although he stayed low to the port during the Belt Creek, tempted by possible enrichment if they were victorious, it seems like he believes the wind has turned, has turned against them, and he's now refused to answer the call to arms sent by our, law, by our Sultan Caliph. With the Arab coalition gaining strength, the loss of Aden is yet another blow to the sublime port. Independence? Yeah, you're gonna, go, you're gonna die, son. Come on up. Come on up. See what happens. Now we're just waiting for Saudi Arabia. Oh, there goes Syria, up too. A Haifa joins revolt. Even in Palestine, resistance has reached a breaking point as the House of the Wali was stormed earlier today by an angry mob tearing down the Ottoman flag and lynching the governor himself. A detachment of the Ottoman Navy resting in the port was able to successfully escape, but a large supply of ammo and weapons was unable to be retrieved in time. Declare martial law or placate rulers in the greater Syria to stop the revolt from spreading in those areas. Oh, crud. So, that's actually pretty low. Yeah, that's pretty... That's not bad either. Ooh, rec recruit local troops. We could do that, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Over here, low... We'll do that. Uprising in Damascus as war with the Mashriq. The Damascenes have once again shown where the true loyalties are, lay at earlier today. The Druze army marched into the capital of the Syria Villiet and successfully overthrew together with assistance from the local population, the Turkish garrison. All around the Tur city, Turkish shops are destroyed and Turkish citizens attacked as a new as a new revolutionary fervor spreading throughout the Arab inhabitants. By Allah. Oh, Crudarinos. Cyprus declares independence, only recently returned to the port. The Cyprus have earned a sense of movement of weakness and have decided to exploit it. Protesters stormed the government buildings in Nicosia as the hills and forest of the little island. Guerrilla fighters, likely backed by Greece, are fighting against the overwhelmed Turkish garrisons. Calling for enosis or the unification with Greece, the rebels have already openly called on the Greek government to intervene and absorb the island within its domain. Turkish Cyprus, in the meantime, find themselves torn between the two sides as their loyalty to Cyprus is in contradiction with their loyalty to the Turkish regime in Constantia. A hoist of blue flag? Nonsense. We'll be back. This is exactly what we were waiting for. We're going to immediately take this group down. Oh, that's not good right here. Um, in the meantime, we're going to take this guy out. That'll be good. And war is. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, it's a little bit of lag. Happy 1939. Now, I was not expecting that at all. Why does everyone hate us? I'm glad the Austrians are doing well over there. This is a giant mess, I'll be honest. This is a giant flipping mess. Um, why do you... There you go, that's what you should be doing. Well, if that's the case, y'all should do it relatively okay. If that's the case, too, I'm going to take you guys off because we have the cavalry back. Deal with the Armenians first. This way, this part of the border will be okay. And then we'll, we'll be doing with this as well, the Great Syrian Revolt. The Separate Rebellion. We'll get there down there, too. We'll be fine. Not really too worried about it. You guys, go ahead and come over here. Kill them all off, if you can. Begin the attacks. You're going to be forcing the attack so they cannot move. You're going to go right here. You're going to crush Damascus as fast as you possibly can. Oh, crap, that's not good. Um, you got to get right here so, they, so we don't get encircled. Cut them off. Our finest hour, the moment we feared for years, has finally arrived. Our numerous enemies have bonded together and sallied forth in an attempt to liberate the Middle East from our so-called oppression. We will, however, not go gently into the dark at night, and th we'll throw everything we have at the invaders to preserve the uh, House of Osman and the Empire that may last a thousand years to arms. Great. And that's this. Increase more. Uh, that's okay. That's not great. Yeah, fortify Baghdad. Fortify a lot of places. Um, yeah, that stuff is okay. You know what? I'm actually going to use these abilities. We're going to do this. Yeah, another division. Great. Mm, that's that's kind of weak. Aleppo. I love Aleppo. If that's the case, you guys, Ottoman Irregulars, you are 10 combat with. Good lord, you're not that good. <laughs> I'm going to throw you down here anyways, though. We're going to need you immediately. Our finest hour, if you like to read about this, because this happens every campaign, go right ahead. That's a pretty good book. Good, pretty good read. Alright, so if you guys are doing that, then you just hold. Hold and defend. You'll be fine. Alright, at the same time, how many planes we got? Where's the air, air, airplanes? You guys hold? I forgot about, about moving you guys. You'll be fine. Come down to Syria. We'll finish off the Syrians quickly. Once we get our soldiers up here, it'll be over within it, within a second or so. You guys should be able to hold down here, especially with force of defense. So, all right. So you guys are gonna st stop them there. You guys are gonna get down here. You're gonna cut them off from Damascus. Destroy that division. Now I'm kind of surprised the Saudis have not gone to war with us yet. You guys will die as well. That's pretty good. And Syria, how are the Levant? Oh, all this. Yes, that's so good. Yeah, they're gonna die here. Oh, come on. How are they spreading out like a cancer? That's so bad. So bad. Well, you're done. 
gonna cut these guys off from the capital anyway, so that'll be good. Help them out down here. You're not allowed to die. Keep keep defending. You'll be fine. This is a giant mess. Giant mess. Anything else? Not really. Yeah, once these guys are done, uh, just walk in, guys. You're gonna keep these guys busy. And if you guys could force the attack, please just get in. Capitulate them so we can send some soldiers further down south. What the hell happened? What the? What? No! Are you kidding me? What happened here? What the hell just happened? Wait, so they just took over the territory immediately? No. No, 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 no. That's a bunch of BS. Come on, you've got to win right now. Take out Damascus. Kill them all off. What the heck? That is BS. That is absolute BS. You gotta help out right here, right now. If you capitulate them, we'll get supplies through here. Oh, crud. Oh, they're moving in. That is absolute crap. Absolute crap. What type of crud are they pulling? I do not want to lose, lose these divisions at all. We can't afford to. Formation of the Eretz or Israel Defense Forces with their settlements under attack and the entire future of the Zionist project in jeopardy. Various Jewish groups have taken it upon themselves to form a militia army and ward off Arab offensives. Heavily outnumbered, outgunned, and even with the most diehard Zionists questioning their odds, one of their main leaders, David Ben-Gurion, has approached the Ottoman army in Syria with an offer of cooperation. Although the Ottoman army would not normally... Uh, would normally automatically refuse their offer for support, fearing it would cause great unrest amongst the Muslims. It's it's Muslim foot soldiers. The ever escalating crisis in Syria has made the Ottoman High Command seriously reconsider their position. Besides the Ottoman doubts about the possible risks involved in cooperating with the Zionists, it furthermore it remains unclear what power Ben Gurion really has over his forces. With extremist organizations such as the Ergun unlikely to ever compromise with Ottoman authorities, one struggle. Well, that's not bad. But I don't want more stuff. We don't need their assistance. We'll be. I mean, honestly, even with this, we'll probably still do okay. But that is crap. Like, they just take the tiles? Under what conditions do you just steal tiles? Uh, for now, let's see. Use more population. Reform the conscription system. Regular used by the Ottoman army to cover its flanks or to perform the dirty work. Our regulars make up a, a not insignificant amount of our army. They're often recruited from Kurdish, Syrian, and Iraqi tribes and are hardly less disloyal and untrustworthy assets to the army. The time has come to eradicate this practice and incorporate any stragglers into the full Ottoman army. Time to grab another division. Thank you. We need you right here, right now. I and mean, we're destroying convoys left and right, which is great. Oh, crap. You guys have showed up, huh? Well, that's the case. You guys actually might be able to do okay, then. Um, We're holding against these guys pretty darn well, too. It's not bad. At, at the end of this, by the end of this video, I want to destroy at least our media. At least one nation, right? Fall of Washington, D.C.? Well, that ain't good. Crush them so we can get to Jerusalem. Or up here. Actually, that's probably better to get up here. Force it. Force it. Force it. You're not allowed to stop attacking. You guys, go down here. Go down here. Go down here. Go down here. Cut these guys off. Good. Good. Gotta keep these guys in place. If we can move quickly enough with our cavalry, we should do okay. Let's grab some more output. Fortify Aleppo. Yeah. Oh, 3,000 manpower. That's not bad. Not really needed, though. Is there anything else here? No. Let's make sure we continue putting down some resistance. That'd probably be good. There we go. Low. That's nice. And I said we capitulate Armenia by the end of this episode. Go. Oh, Armenia. Oh, Armenia. You chose so poorly. Do you not realize what I'm going to do to you now that you've decided to rebel? Do they not have... Do they not know history? But regardless... We shall conclude today's episode there, as we are struggling down here. But now we're doing a little better. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we will struggle against the evils of the Cairo Pact, Persia, and Cyprus. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.